hello world welcome to my first vlog guys this is wild i've been watching vlogs about everything for literally so long and now i'm making one this is crazy um so i want to talk about natural hair today because i get people asking me all the time like um how i transitioned to natural hair like how i am learned to embrace my natural hair um so i want to give you guys a little bit of like backstory um i have a blog about like the whole full story and i'll link it down um in the whatever wherever i post this i'll link it so you can check out my blog um it's a couple years old but all the information is still um relevant but i'm going to give you the cliff notes version so basically i am half black half white mixed biracial whatever you want to call me i identify as both um <laughs> And so I have very curly, like spirally curly hair. Um, and growing up, I was n not in love with it. I didn't really know how to handle it. I didn't really know how to work with it. Um, I would always just wear it in ponytails and flick it back and not really um, let it out. Um, so, and when I was around 11, I started to relax my hair. So I would chemically straighten it. And um, I did that for about five years. Five years? Yeah, I think about four, four years. Um, and it broke and it was really unhealthy and I was straightening it all the time and it just got super unhealthy and around um I got it relaxed when I was like 11 and then around 14 15 I started um watching videos about natural hair and like started to kind of feel like oh, maybe I want to like transition to my natural hair and so when I was 15 or yeah so about I guess it must be like four years ago now I transitioned um, and I will probably make more videos about that. Like, if you're interested in actually hearing about my process of transitioning to natural hair, um, leave a comment and let me know. But yeah, so I transitioned to natural hair, and now I'm four years into my natural hair journey. I love it. Like, it is my favorite thing in the world. Um, so yeah, that's a little bit of my story. Um, I want to share with you guys today, though, um, four things I've learned through my natural hair journey and four tips that I would give to somebody who's like, Struggle, maybe you have natural hair right now and you're just struggling with like how to take care of it and you don't want to relax it and you don't want to do any of those things but you just you just you know put it up all the time like you don't want to let it out like um anything like that like so I just want to help people because I get so many questions like how did you just like learn to love it and um so yeah I'm going to give you my top four tips so my first one first tip is change your mindset this is like the biggest tip that I tell anybody who wants to transition to natural hair like you have to completely change your ideas of what beautiful hair looks like because for me like I always thought beautiful hair was long and it was not curly but more like wavy and straight and like honestly like white hair like I thought that was like the standard of beautiful hair and so I had to completely change my mindset um, I did this by watching a ton of videos on YouTube about natural hair um, going on Pinterest and just looking up natural hair, looking up curls and seeing all the different types of curls there are, that can like help you so much. But you can even, you know, it's it's slippery because you could even com end up comparing your curls to somebody else's curls. But you really just have to look out there. There's so many things that you can find. And you can find hair that looks like yours. And um, just learn to change your mindset and change what looks beautiful. And you really just have to step out and just do it. And like the more that you wear your hair out, more that you rock it the more you're gonna love it the more your confidence is gonna grow um, so yeah that's my first tip change your mindset number two would be find your routine this is probably the most challenging part of um, going to natural hair because there's so many products out there there's so much stuff um, and honestly we live in a great time like there's so many natural pro hair products um, I follow a routine called LOC um, and if you want to know more about that again link in the description or comment below whatever you want to hear about like your questions comments concerns like hit me up um but yeah you have to find the right products for you just try a bunch of different things there's so many resources out there on pinterest um on the internet and yeah just try a lot of stuff and then find what works for you um and yeah uh number three the more you love it the more it loves you back so you really need to in the beginning you really need to take care of it you really need to deep condition like do all those kinds of things to really take care of it and the more that you do that and the more you really let it out like I really believe that like if we wear our hair in ponytails and in buns all the time like it it doesn't get to really live to its full potential so like letting it out and just loving on it like you will see it get healthier like 
you. They really you have to like step out and like let it get live its life and then it's gonna get help to you. Like I literally will have days where I'm like, I'm just gonna let my hair live its life today and I just get it wet and I leave from the house and I just let it do whatever it wants. And I honestly feel like that's really good for it. So yeah. Um, so that's my third tip. The more you love it, the more it loves you back. And my, and by it, I mean our beautiful afros, which are mine obviously today is not, um, quite living its life, but you know, we got to do different things. Okay. My last point would be embrace every step of the journey. If you are transitioning from relaxed hair to natural hair, or if you've been straightening your hair for years and years, you've been using heat on it and you're you want to start wearing it curly and it's kind of dead and um, whatever step you're at, wherever you're at, you have to embrace where your hair is right now and just love what it is and because every part of the journey is beautiful. Um, I, the way my transition was is I um, would, I basically blended my hair and I can, I can go more into that later, um, my natural hair with my relaxed hair for a couple months and then um, I did a big chop so I had very very short hair um, for quite a while I cut it it was it was boy short it was very short I couldn't do anything and honestly that was my favorite like step in my journey like I loved my big chop like I loved my short hair and I miss it sometimes and I low-key like almost chop my hair really short sometimes and even though I've like worked so hard to grow it to where it's at I sometimes just want to chop it um, because I loved my big chop um, Transitioning was harder, but I loved that too. So it's just like learning to love your hair in every stage that it's at because seriously, it's everything. But yeah, so I hope that encouraged some of you today um, who are, you know, starting on your natural hair journey. Seriously, leave me questions below, comments, like things you want. I want to make more videos about this. I want to really help people. Honestly, I always joke like this is my second ministry. Like I love natural hair. I'm all about it. Um, so if you have questions, if you want to hear more from me, if you enjoyed this, like let me know hit me up i'll do more um but yeah basically thank you guys so much for watching uh whatever platform this is on you know like it share it with a friend who if you're on here and you don't know anything about natural hair but you just watch this video because you're bored um tag a friend who you know has natural hair or is wanting to go through a transition with natural hair like tag them and yeah all right love you guys